This is a quick video explaining the difference between essential and non-essential loads. Why do we split them up? How do we split them up? And what does this mean for your solar system and the way it functions? So why do we do it? Two main reasons. One, we want to protect the inverter and the battery from overloading. Um, and secondly, most importantly for you, the, the consumer, you want to preserve your battery um, for outages such as load shedding events, etc., etc. We don't want you draining your, your battery unnecessarily. And then when you need your solar system or your backup most, you don't have power to it. So what is a non-essential item? Effectively, it's two broad definitions. One, non-essential in the name, non-critical. It's things that you can live without during a two to four hour load shedding schedule. That's items such as pool pumps and borehole pumps, uh, irrigation systems, things such as that. And secondly, any high drawing items. And that generally um, relates to kind of heating and cooling appliances such as air cons, microwaves, geysers, etc., etc. So what is an essential item? Effectively, an essential item is everything else in your house. So um, things such as lights, Wi-Fi, alarm systems, TVs, computers, electric fences, garage doors, um, intercom systems, gate motors, all of those type of things, those will be on backup. You will have access to those at any time. You are always on with those type of items. They are essential for one, your safety, two, your lifestyle, um, and those are everything except the non-essential high drawing items. So just as a quick example, um, one of the beauties of solar systems is that you actually don't even know that it is load shedding. There's an instant changeover, it's seamless, you don't even know. So um, often we hear customers saying, please can we keep um, our washing machines and our ovens and whatnot on um, the essential circuits, we will maintain and we will control them. The trouble is you don't even know that you're being load shed and you could be baking a cake and then all of a sudden you've got no battery left um, you know, in, in a couple of hours and you have no idea why. So just a, 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 for sake of example, let's say you've got your washing machine on um, the microwave, the toaster and the kettle. This is just a, a rough indication of what these items draw. Altogether, that's seven and a half kilowatts, which if you've got a five kilowatt inverter, you would be overloading that inverter. It would trip. You would need to go and reset it. Um, there's potential damage to the inverters, there's potential warranty um, warranties can, that can be void. So um, we don't want to run that risk. We simply take these items off um, so that you're not doing the damage and you're not draining your battery. So what does this mean practically? So this does not mean that your oven, your geysers, your pool pumps, your washing machines don't get the benefit of solar. They certainly do. Um, but it's only when the grid is available. So although it may seem like the grid is not available a lot of the time these days um, with stage six load shedding, however, under normal circumstances, when the grid is up, you can be baking a cake in the middle of the day for free off of solar energy. Um, when your geezers, if you're putting them on timers, um, what we'll generally do is we'll, we'll put your geezer to come on at 12 in the day when you've got excess solar to heat your geysers um, using sun power. So basically the flow of energy is both ways to essential and to non-essential items. When you have grid available, it is only for the few and far between times where no grid is available. I know few and far between doesn't seem like it at this stage um, with the, the load shedding, but it's when you don't have grid available that we cut off or the grid cuts off your, your load and we have split that non-essential so it won't get powered by the solar or your battery, so you're not draining your battery. However, things such as your lights, your TV, everything that we discussed earlier will get access um, to power and you will be always up. You can watch your sport, you can carry on your life um, without being affected by load shedding or outages. I hope this video is helpful and explains the difference between essential and non-essential loads and just gives you a little bit of context as to why we do what we do. Thank you.